Isaiah chapter 66, verse 1. And it reads, Thus saith the Lord, The heaven is my throne, and the earth is my footstool. Where is the house that ye build unto me? And where is the place of my rest? For all those things have mine hand made, and all those things have been, saith the Lord. But to this man will I look, even to him that is poor, and of a contrite spirit, and trembleth at my word. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishop of the great millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith for God's people here for a bit. Just, uh, just starting off the week with, with a lesson on, on just fear. Because that's the beginning. I want to get something right quick. Let's just get that. Let's get Proverbs right quick. You're starting off the morning with fear. Starting off this morning. This Monday morning with fear. The fear of the Lord, man. Straight up, man. You see. Because the scriptures tell us in the Apocrypha. Um, then those that remain shall know that there is nothing better than to fear the Lord. There's nothing better than to fear the Lord. You, you celebrate a Halloween. You celebrate your birthday. You're getting ready to vote. You're getting ready to celebrate Thanksgiving. You're getting ready to celebrate Christmas. You're getting ready to celebrate the New Year. Then, then what? Then what? Now, you, you did all that. You had your little five minutes of fun, five minutes of fame. Ha, ha, he, he. Now, look, now the power of the heavens and the earth is angry at you and pissed off at you. Now, you got spirits created for vengeance on, on the manhunt for you. You see? Wait, wake up fearing the Lord. Throughout the day, fear Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, who they ignorantly call God and Jesus. Throughout the night, they the, they the ones that protected me throughout the night. Make sure didn't nothing happen to me throughout the night. So, so you, I'm, I'm looking at this. I'm looking at the news now. Um, home destroyed by fire. Red red lights just blinking every damn where. You see, a whole lot of people got deleted last night. One Proverbs one and seven. Let's just get it. Proverbs chapter one verse seven. The fear. Of the Lord. See, everybody talking about they love the Lord, they love the Lord, but then they don't even know the first thing about love. Love is what? Love is keeping the commandments of the Bible. I'm, I'm all over the place this morning, but I, I just want to get it right quick. You got Negroes, Latin, because this is who this word is for. You got Negroes, Latin, and Native Americans. I love the Lord. I love the Lord. Oh, really? Let, let's see. Let's see according to the Bible if you love the Lord. We're going to see according to the Bible now. You see? Listen to this. You say you love the Lord, right? St. John chapter 14, verse 15, it reads, if ye love me, keep my commandments. If you love the Lord, you're not going to say the commandments are done away with just so you can eat a damn pork sandwich or some shrimp or some scrimp when it's, when it's really shrimp. But you say scrimp, can't even talk, man. You see, if you love the Lord, you're not going to you're not going to um, disrespect your neighbor. Which are the Israelites? You're not gonna steal from. You're not gonna mess with this woman's wife. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna covet anything that's theirs. You're not gonna lie to him. If you, if you truly love the Lord, Saint John fourteen fifteen. So stop saying you love the Lord and you and you just going to hell off. You see? Oh, I love the Lord. You know what I'm saying? But you got an alternative lifestyle. You love the Lord, but you are down transformer more than meets the eye. Robots in disguise. Just stop it, man. You see that damn a damn Decepticon talking about some they love the Lord. Just stop it. If ye love me, keep my commandments. And that, that's plain. And the commandments will never be done away with ever, man. Ever. And, and that don't even sound right anyway. Perfect laws. Perfect laws, statutes, and commandments done away with. Are you are you serious? Let's go back. Proverbs 1 and 7. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah, is the beginning of knowledge. Fearing the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise me and hate wisdom and instruction. Blockheads, meatballs, jackasses, you, you, you know, goobers. They despise the law. You're going to wish you didn't, though. Uh, it's, um, Proverbs um, 13. 13. I, I got I to get it. I'm, since, I'm, since the Lord got me quoting it early in the morning, I'm, I might as well get it. Just a quick little, like, just starting off Monday morning, just fearing the Lord, man. 
We stay watching the news. The Lord said, watch as well as pray. Uh, man hospitalized after a house fire. W woke up his damn house was on fire. The hell, the damn house burnt to the damn ground. Ain't even nothing left, man. Look, da damn it, man. Ain't never seen a house nothing damn consumed like that, man. Ain't nothing left, man. But the, the damn refrigerator is burnt. You know, it's burnt to a damn crisp. Everything burnt. How the hell did he escape that, man? The Lord, the Lord had it to where he escaped. Remember, um, uh, Deuteronomy 32, 39. If y'all can see what I'm seeing, only thing left with, I guess the dolly in that bike must have been outside because that's the only thing remaining right there. It burnt the whole damn house down to the ground, Israel. Shit, man. That's the Lord. The Lord said, I kill, I uh, I keep alive, I wound, and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So it's up to the Lord, you know what I'm saying, to have you get delivered out of a house fire or out of a car crash or out of a blicky situation. You, you just name it, man. A uh, uh, earthquake, all the above. Proverbs thirteen thirteen. Whoso despises me and hate the word, this word, the words of the Bible, shall be destroyed. You see, so the Israelites that don't believe in this word, this is their end all, be it all. So some horrible kind of way. But he that feared the commandment shall be rewarded. So let's go right back. Let's go right on back. I know I'm all over the place this morning, but Lord willing, it'll come full circle. Isaiah sixty six. And one again, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus, the heaven is my throne, and the earth is my footstool. Where is the house that ye build unto me? And where is the place of my rest? Lord basically going into how he ain't dealing with these churches. He's he's not dwelling in any of these churches, no matter what it is, no matter if it's Catholic church. The Baptist church, the Pentecostal church, it don't matter. Church, church, church. It don't, the Lord ain't in that church, all right? The spiritual demon Satan is in that church. That's why everybody falling at their mouth, falling all down. They ain't the spirit of the Lord. You falling all on, on the damn ground, you know what I'm saying? Getting back up, running into people. Somebody got to hold you down with some cover, you know what I'm saying? You, you done bust your damn blouse wide open, you know what I'm saying? For doing all that nonsense, hitting your head on the wall. Just, 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 just true. Shaking and convulsion, you know what I'm saying? You got demons on you. Sit down somewhere. For all those things have mine hand made. You, we, we, we all have seen it, man. And we just look, look at this shit. Gone a police chase ends with U-Haul crash on rock service station road. Damn, damn it, look at that U-Haul truck. Wow. 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 You, 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 you just turn on the news. Only thing you got to do is turn on the news. You see? Banging the least man near. You see people just getting banged all through the night. For all those things have mine hand made, and all those things have been, saith the Lord. But to this man, this Israelite man, will I look, even to him that is poor. Remember, poor, rich in faith, and of a contrite, remorseful, you see, repentive, regretful spirit, and, and trembleth at my word. And that, that's a key point, trembleth at his word. Let's, let's, let's get that definition. Let's just get the definition for trembleth. And I should have I should have got the definition for the word fear. I should have got it. Let's see if that's it. To shake a little as with fear. You see it? As with fear, quake, quiver. Let's see what else is in here. Um pretty much saying the same thing. Let's see. Look, my flesh, that's uh, Psalms 104 and 32. It says, my flesh trembleth of fear of thee, and I am afraid of thy judgment. That's Psalms 104 and 32. You see, you see that, Israel? My flesh trembleth for fear of thee, because the Lord, you know what I'm saying, controls everything. That's the thing about it. The Lord controls everything. We better fear. My flesh trembleth for the fear of thee. Psalms chapter 104, verse 32. My flesh trembleth. Tremble if Israel, not proud, not tough, not bad, not gangster, not thug. You see, funeral today for a 15 year old boy, bang. You see, near Moore Square and Roddy, that 15 year old got banged down. You see, the, the damn rebel, you know what I'm saying? And I think, I think that's a dude, you know what I'm saying, to be coming past um, eyeballing us all crazy. Got banged the hell down. A damn 15 year old got banged down at Moore Square. We, we be down there teaching. You see, See, every idle word, the looks and all that, the thoughts and all that, the Lord's going to repay you for all that. Repent, Israel. You see the men of the Lord out there, you know what I'm saying? Look, look, teaching that blessed word. The scripture say, fear the Lord and reverence his priests. But you have it your way, though. Psalm chapter 104, verse 32, and it reads, my flesh trembleth for the fear of thee. 
And I am afraid, not proud. I am afraid, not bad. I am afraid, not bold. I am afraid of thy judgments because the judgment is going forth. The Lord said every morning, do if you bring his judgment to light. Every morning, do the Lord bring his judgment to light, man. Um, hey, look, look, he, he fell of not. Matter of fact, I want to just get some right quick. Uh, let's see. Bear with me. Let's see. Psalms 34 and 9. Oh, fear the Lord, Yahweh, but Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Who, once again, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus, ye his saints, which are the Israelites, Negroes, Latins, and Native American Indian descent, right? For there is no want to them that fear the Lord. And I want to get the definition for the word fear. If I may. Let's see. It's going to let me. Um, an unpleasant, often strong emotion caused by anticipation or awareness of danger and accompanied by increased uh, automatic uh, activity. Let's see. Let's get here. I want another one. See if this is it. Um, to be afraid of, expect, look, expect with the alarm. And pretty much another one goes into... Um, uh, fear is like um, the anticipation of, of someone or something that can bring physical harm to you, too. I don't know why that definition ain't popping up. And I only got time to go to the anthem mind. But you see it. The saints, the Israelites, we must fear the Lord. I want, I want to get this right quick. Look, Jacob, Jacob's trouble is about to pop off. And guess who's controlling it? The Lord. Guess, guess who's controlling Jacob's trouble? Look, look and the scripture said Jacob's trouble. Jacob's trouble. Je Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 5, and it reads, For thus saith the Lord Yahweh, through its only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Because remember, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. As ye now and see whether a man do a travail with child. Can a man can a man have a baby in a real world? You see? In a real world, in a normal world, in a normal society, you know what I'm saying? Can a man have a baby? Hell to the no, no, no. In, in bizarro world, you can. In bizarro, that's, that's why the Lord going to get rid of this place, man. That's another reason why the Lord going to get rid of this wicked, sinful kingdom, right? Ask ye now and see whether a man do a travail with child. Wherefore, do I see every man with his hands on his loins, on his midsection, holding his midsection, right? In pain, you see, in agony, in grief, you see? As a woman in travail, you see that woman going through them birth pains. She feel like she's about to die. You know what I'm saying? N enough women that told me that, right? Them, them um, contractions, them birth pains. You know what I'm saying? They said they hit hard like a damn Mack truck, right? As a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness. Going right back to the cartoon characters. You see a cartoon character turn pale. Cartoon character turn pale. What would that mean? It was scared to death. The cartoon character was scared to death, right? Alas, for that day. And this is the day that the Lord is bringing. Alas, for that day is great, so that is none, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, not Jacob's love, not Jacob's happiness, but Jacob's trouble. The worst time to be on the earth. All right. The worst time to be on the earth. Jacob's trouble, man. He, the Lord going to put you to the sword. You know what I'm saying? Which is sleazy. He going to let sleazy come in and have you, man. Have his way with you. But he shall be saved out of it. Meaning the elect, the Lord willing, were part of that whole for number. Lord willing. Lord willing, we're part of that whole for number. Um, they that remain. Let's see. Let's see if I can get that. Um, it's in the Apocrypha. Let's see. Bear with me. That's why the scriptures say, uh, flee from sin as, as, as of the face of a serpent. Because if you come near it, it's going to bite you. It's just showing up going to bite you, man. Let's go here. Yep, let's go here. Sarat, also known as Ecclesiastes chapter 20, 23, verse 27. And it reads, let, let the ninjas do ninja nonsense, no sin, and let the hopeful elect like, fear the Lord. Fear, wake up fearing, go to sleep. Because remember, the scripture say, fear you not me. I place the sand, no sin, for the sea so it don't go over. The Lord got it to where the water, all that massive body of water don't even come on the land. Who's controlling that? The Lord, man. All right? The Lord, the Lord makes the sun come up, makes the moon go down, all the above, man. 
Makes it rain. The Lord controls everything. So whether whether you got a job, you know I'm saying whether you're a bum on the street, all the above, the Lord controls it all, right? So Rock chapter twenty three, verse twenty seven, and it reads, "And they that remain shall know that there is nothing better than the fear of the Lord." Then the fear of the Lord can can another definition pop up? It won't let me. Same thing. But but you see, they that remain shall know that there is nothing better than to fear the Lord, because that's the beginning of knowledge. It says, nothing better than to fear the Lord, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, who you're going to call God and Jesus, and that there is nothing sweeter than to take heed unto the commandments of the Lord. Nothing better, nothing sweeter than to take heed to this blessed word. The city is red. Look, girls, remember, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living. I got two more scriptures, and I got to roll out. I got the roll out. What is it? Um, Job's. No, it's a joke. Deuteronomy. Matter of fact, I'll get this one in Job. Job chapter 20. I'm trying to get three. This one is two more, then I'm gone because I got to wrap it up. This is Job. Job chapter 28. Get, look, look, let us pray more before we walk out that door. Get our prayer on. Before you put that seatbelt on, pray. You see all, all the above. Job chapter 28. Soon as your eyes open, thank Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Job chapter 28, verse 28. And it reads, And unto man he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Little, little woman deleted and banging in crowded Durham night, nightlife district. See? All out there having fun and all that shit. When the scripture said, Look, look bad as it's getting out here. You still, the only thing you still think about is some damn fun. It's bad out here, man. All right? It's a war going on outside, man. Nobody say from Henderson County, brush fire grows to more than 420 damn acres. A woman just got a blicky down, you know what I'm saying? Trying to live the nightlife at night, you know what I'm saying? Then somebody else's family is mourning. But the Lord going right back to um, uh, 2nd Ezra, the 8th chapter, you know what I'm saying? The Lord said he's going to bring mourning, great misery upon you people, right? Job 28, 28. And it's a man, he said, Israelite man, woman, and child, behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. And to depart from evil, meaning wickedness, is understanding, right? You, you, you get that, right? Let's see what else. Deuteronomy chapter 10. Just, just, just a quick little lesson on fear. Starting the, starting the week off with fear. Deuteronomy the 10th chapter. Deuteronomy chapter 10, 12. And now Israel, are people before us a place. What do if the Lord thy power require, meaning demand of thee, but to fear the Lord thy power? That's what the Lord wants us to do. That's what he commands us to do. Fear. Fear him above all gods, for all the gods of the nations are idols. All the gods of the nations are idols, right? But to fear the Lord, thy power, to walk in all his ways, to love him. We read what love was, to keep the commandments to the best of our ability, rehearse them, and to serve the Lord, thy power, with all thy heart, meaning all your mind, and with all thy soul. To keep the commandments of the Lord, you rehearse them. They're not done away with. And, and his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. And I got one more. Then I'm gone, because I got, I got a roll. Oh, it's occupied in prophecy, man, just fearing. Show me that the words of the Lord, Sirach, um, the 11th chapter, right? Yeah. Sirach chapter 11. I think it's 11. Let's see. Sirach chapter 11. Yeah. Sirach chapter 11. Gee, look through, man. Sirach chapter 11, verse 14. Prosperity and adversity, life and death, poverty and riches come of the Lord. And if, after hearing a scripture like this, if you don't tremble, if you're not, not fearful after hearing a scripture like this, I, look. Look, have it your way. You deserve everything that comes your way. The Lord said prosperity, whether you got some, and adversity, whether you catch in hell, life, whether you live in, you know what I'm saying? and death, whether you're deceased, poverty, whether you, um, you're homeless, jobless, th throughness, look, look, throughness, and riches, whether you got, you got a nice bank account, Come of the Lord. So we ain't doing nothing on our own. We ain't doing it ain't because you went to college that you got you making all that money, you, you good career. No, man. It's of the Lord. Everything is of Yahweh Bahashem. Yahweh Shai. So look, look, start your week off fearing the Lord. That's that's what I'm gonna call it. Start your week off fearing Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Shalom.